Hello everyone, it's Casey, the Vintage Southern Lady, and today we have a haul for you, and a lot of it's pink. <laughs> the pink haul's coming right up. Okay, so I love pink, as you can tell. Pink shirt, pink lipstick. Pink is one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love it. And, um, so, um, when I'm thrifting, sometimes the pink things, they kind of, I'm drawn to them. But, um, I have a haul, and there just happened to be a lot of pink things. So, I picked up several pink things. I'm going to show you a few of them. It's not the entire haul, but, um, this is a whole new setup I have going here. First time using it. And it's really, really late at night. And I finally got it working, so we're not going to spend forever with this video. I just want to show you a couple of cute things. And, um, alright. Let's start with the pink things. First up was we have this adorable pink swan planter. And on the bottom sturdy but it also has nothing on it so it was made in the U.S. Bay and it's a really cute little planner um it does have an issue on the other side uh, let's show it to you you see how this has the black eye here on the other side you see how that black eye has Kind of fade it or run down into that crease. Now there's the creases on this side too. But it's ran down on this side. And it also has this little tiny chip up here. A little doink. But the cool thing about planters. You can put the flower in it. And you can display it on this side. Now, to me, that's the cool thing about vintage items is um, you save them. They can still be used. This was saved from the landfill. And someone can put a beautiful plant in it and display it on this side. Still has purpose. Reuse, repurpose, recycle by vintage. All right, you guys. Up next. Uh, let's keep it going with some planters. Um, this one's not exactly pink, but it's still cute. It's a planter. It's a little girl. It's one of those deals where she's so um, almost not very pretty that she's adorable type deals. It's all uh, hand painted, outlawed, and in gold. Can you see that it's got an iridescent finish on the front of it? That's the only place it has it. Cute little planner. Now, this one is Japan. That's the old red Japan stamp. It's about faded, but you can't hardly see it says Japan. But it's, it's super cute. Um, Lefton makes a lot of these that are a lot better made than this one. But it does remind me of Lefton with this. You can see a little bit of that iridescence on there. Yeah, bless her heart. A little girl pushing the cart. Little barrel, whatever you want to call it. Gold trimmed, hand painted, cute, the little iridescent, shiny, luster finish right there, and the inside. All right, now, ta da! 1950s, possibly um, Shawnee. Made in America. Adorable. 
So cute. Has initials on the side with hearts. Now this was actually a find my, my mom found and it was an estate sale find. So cute. Such a the gloss and the glaze on this is such a high shine. It's so so pretty. 1950s. And ta-da! The matching blue one. So cute. Isn't that adorable? Guys, these are in perfect condition. Absolute perfect condition. Who knows if anything's ever really even been planted in them. The initials. The initials. Now this, guys, I will probably keep and not put this on eBay for sale. That's my intentions to set it in my bay window window sill. Just as a display, not as a planter. Alright, let's see. What's next? Oh yeah, this little guy. Now I already did make a video about him probably being the cutest um, little thrift, thrift store find I've ever found. And he is so adorable, or she is. Since she's pink, we'll call it a girl. No markings on the bottom, and it has a hole in it there. Now most of these that I have seen for sale on eBay are all planters. This one's not a planter. This one is not a planter at all. I would call it the waving bear. Some of them um, are Sam is it Samson bears, I believe. Simpson, Samson bear, something like that. And look at the smile on this one. It has a pretty smile. The other ones don't have a nice big smile. They have something black right here, kind of outlining their tiny little, I call it a non-smile, because it doesn't really look like a smile. But this one's so adorable, and in really good condition. It does have one slight issue over here where the, um, I guess where the um, diaper, I just wear, yes, it's wearing a diaper where the diaper um, comes together and ties. There's a little doink there. But again, that's that's on the side. If this thing is sitting like this, you're not, you can't tell it, you're not gonna see it. Um, or, I mean, if looking at it from the back, you're not gonna see it. I don't know, it's eyes may be glass. I'm not 100% for sure. It's really cool. It's so adorable. It's one of my favorites that I've ever found. So cute. All right, what are we gonna do next? Probably this one. This one's probably gonna be hard to pick up. But yes, this was a thrift store find. And it has, okay, it's showing up a little bit. It has this really warm, almost, golden luster like finish on it and it makes it so shiny and just so cute and adorable this little pink pitcher oh it has nothing on the bottom and i think there was a place or two up under i don't know if you can tell yeah see right here there's a spot where some of that luster finish is trying to come off. But in natural lighting, I got this huge bright light in front of my face here for this video. But in natural lighting, this thing is so cute and so adorable. It just has this warm, glossy, high gloss, glaze, lustery finish on it. And it's so cute. So adorable.
this will be for sale on eBay. Um, let's go ahead and check out this vase. This vase I've actually had for a couple months and I've not listed it because I have tried and tried to find something out about it. Let's just get a little closer to look at the um, flowers details on it. It's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, there's a brand of vases that are called Norcrest Japan. And they have this very similar design right here. How the flowers are like this, and then they come up right here with these petals. It is a lot like Norcrest. Um, and I'm not sure if the Norcrest ones have the gold little almost urn-like uh, handles up here or not. But um, Norcrest has a sticker on the bottom. And as you can tell... This has had sticker on it before, but it doesn't now. So it's always kind of been a mystery. One time I posted this thing in the Facebook group trying to get an identification. And somebody was being not so nice. And said, it looks like it came from the dollar store. I just, I don't know if I commented or not, but... Uh, I think I might have said, well, if it did, that's that's okay, and that's fine. Um, I'll keep it because I think it's pretty. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and natural lighting, it is just beautiful. It has this beautiful luster finish on it that is just, it's big. This one's a big one. And I guarantee, I didn't do it at Valentine's Day, but... If I decide to keep it, I'm going to put, um, when I get flowers for my anniversary, um, I'm going to put some flowers in it. I guarantee it will be gorgeous because of this just beautiful finish it has on it. And just, there's a lot of detail on those flowers. They're just gorgeous. Okay. And I like how it's got the pink at the top and pink at the bottom and all the lustery finishes and even the gold on the sides. It's just beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful vases that I've ever seen. Gorgeous. All right. I do have another one. Um, it's almost like a white bisque um, with some... Uh, it's already up on eBay. And um, it's really pretty, but keeping in line with the luster, let's go over and look at this figurine here. Look at this. Isn't it cool? This was a find from, uh, of course, the Goodwill. And now it does have a little bit of the lace detail. It's got a just that beautiful luster finish. Yes, they're having tea, tea time. There's his face. There's her face. She's wearing pink. He's wearing blue. Um, just, it's a really nice piece. It's really cool. This one will be up on eBay soon. It's just beautiful. Tea time. The only ones I've seen like it, there's a dog sitting down here with them. Now this one is a little weird. It's got some, it's got some Chinese characters on the bottom, but also says made in China on it. But I have no idea what those Chinese characters say. I've not found anything identical to this. I've researched this one for a long time. I found nothing like it. Like I said, there's only one or two that come up and there's a dog sitting down here. There's nothing like these, this courting couple having tea time. This Victorian courting couple having tea time. There's nothing like these guys. 
and it's just beautiful and they have there's a lot of detail in this and it's beautiful careful with them my goodness it's kind of sharp all right moving right along what's next what's next what's next what's next I think we might have went over all the dark pink. Let's go with some of the floral stuff. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one has gotten dusty. This one, to me, I think this is depression glass. Um, the color of it on this stem is the exact same color as all my pink depression glass. And it looks like depression glass. Now, this is a flute. The top of it does not have, um, it's just clear, but this bottom part piece, it's got like a water spot or something on it, but um, it is identical to my depression, pink depression glass. I'll try to hold that up there so you guys can see it. My hand is kind of... See, it's got that pink depression look to it. It's cute. It's for sale. It's on eBay. Um, what else we got here? Do, 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 do. Let's go with this little guy. This one is a uh, yeah, a Lipton piece. It's really cute. It's a little bell, but it's missing its actual bell. It's got some pretty pink flowers on it. And it says, you'll never, never know how much it means to have a grandmother like you. It's just really cute. I don't know if it's going to focus on it or not, but then there's like a flower on the back. I got to get the price tag or the way off of it. And yes, it does have a little ding down here, a little doink. But inside you can see it's got the left and left in china symbol and it says left in china on the inside all right guys please excuse my hands being so dry this whole uh coronavirus thing going around um i've been using a lot of hand sanitizer with the alcohol in it my hands are so terribly dry it's pitiful but let's see. All right, let's look at this. Isn't that adorable? That is so cool. That's really awesome. Teapot. It's so adorable. Anyone guess where this was made? Look at that fancy handle. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Can anyone guess? Where does it look like it would be made? Anyone have a clue yet? I'm acting like I'm on a live and I'm not. Made in Japan. This one will be posted soon. Okay, what else we got? Just a couple more things. We're almost done. Um, I always like to pick up things like this. This is a Walt Disney World. It's the castle at Walt Disney World, the Princess Castle. Isn't that cute? Now, um, I'm not sure what year this was made on the back. There's a, the string looks kind of dingy. Um, um, before I sell it, I may take the string off. Someone else can put another string through it to hang it up. But it has on the back, uh, designed and made for Disneyland, Walt Disney World, Walt Disney Productions made in Japan. 
Then warning for decorative purse only. Do not to be used for serving foods. But it is pretty cool that it's made in Japan. All right, one more look at the front. Gold trim. Walt Disney World. All right. We got, I think, one more piece that we're going to do tonight. Then we're just going to finish it on another time. This one is for sale on eBay. Look at those beautiful, beautiful burly roses. Fuchsia colored roses. Dark pink. Now this one is Man Fine Bone China. Very cute. Now I got the design on the front. On the sides. Now check this out. And on the inside, look at that. Isn't that cute? Roses. Roses are beautiful. I really like flowers and pink, in case you guys cannot tell. I really like it. Okay, I feel like we're, we missed something, but I think I went over everything. I think so. Well, yeah, this video is at 21 minutes. So, okay, all this stuff's gonna be up on eBay for sale except for these guys. And I do intend to keep those, but um, I think everything else, most of it's up, some of it's up on eBay, the rest of it will be. Um, I will link my. Um, eBay store in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have plenty more videos to come. I have tons of stuff to show you guys that I have thrifted and is going to be for sale soon or is already for sale. So much stuff. But thank you guys so much for uh, tuning into this video and watching. Um, like I said, I have many more to come. Um, Hopefully they won't have to be filmed this late at night, but um, I sure appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe, and you can follow me on Instagram at um, Vintage Southern Lady and um, YouTube, of course. YouTube and Instagram. If you have any questions about anything you saw or if you're interested in it, check out my eBay store. And um, if you have any questions or comments or if you know one of these makers that I didn't know, leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.